There's another drive. Deep down oh the line, goodness. he crushed another one. Up into the billboard for another three-run homer. That's sick. He's driven in eight runs today. His third home run of the afternoon. Goodness gracious, Mookie Betts. What a day. Doesn't get any better than that. Four for four, three home runs, eight RBIs. Every time he touches one off, it's a no-doubter. Yasiel Puig pinch hitting, and he will hit a ground ball towards short. Russell goes to Baez one. Over to first. The Cubs are going to the World Series. The Cubs win the pennant. MLB The Show has baseball for you under the lights at Citizens Bank Park in Philadelphia. Tonight, the second of four between the New York Mets and the Philadelphia Phillies. Stay tuned for Phillies baseball next. Vince Velasquez gets the ball for Philadelphia in this one. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, if you look at his whip, he's having a pretty effective season. He's keeping runners off the base path. He's not giving up a lot of runs, and he's giving his team a chance to win. If he does that same formula in this game, they may walk out of here with the W. In is Curtis Granderson. The average just a few ticks shy of 300 for the season, so perhaps a hit or two in this one could put him up over the top. Here comes the payoff pitch. And he lays off ball four. That's exactly what you want your leadoff man to do. Work the count and get on base. Man, that's just painful for a pitcher right there. A 3-2 offering that was right on the corner, but he couldn't get him to chase, and he doesn't get the call. Can't beat yourself up about that one too much. Here now is his Drupal Cabrera, his lifetime line against Velasquez. He's gone three for 11. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. These Phillies, Harold, as they enter play here tonight, they've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, 5 and 3 in their last eight games. Well, Matt, it's always nice to play at home, and they got off on the right foot winning the first game of the series here, and they got a chance really to, to win this game and maybe even sweep this series. So the first one's an important game. And a full count now, three and two. Count is full. Here's the pitch. And he won't have to contend with the throw as that misses for ball four. First and second now to start the inning. At this rate, he's going to set some kind of a record for walks issued in a game or he'll get an early hook. We'll see if he can settle down here and start to find the strike zone or if he continues to struggle. So coming to the plate, Michael Conforto. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. Here it comes on one and one. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. Matt, in last night's game, this is the situation right here. They didn't do a very good job driving guys in with runs in scoring position. Right here, you got a guy in scoring position. You got to capitalize and drive in. If you swung at a bad pitch last night, get a good pitch to drive right here. And now a chance to meet the Mets. HR, what's the key for him here tonight? Matt, this is a team after my heart. They lead the league in stolen bases. Look out. They're going to come at you running. They're going to run to first if they walk. They're going to steal second if it's sitting out there. They just run. I'm excited to watch them play. Into the box now, Yoannis Cespedes. He's come up in big spots like this more than once this year, currently second in the NL in RBIs. Runners are at first and second with one away. Now the double steal is on here. Soft liner out toward left center. And that'll get down out there. The runner scores from second. Well, after losing game one of the series, to get an RBI single in the first Adam inning Bay. of game two is Third a good baseman, sign. This is a tough team. Hey, mentally man. tough, right. mentally strong, ready to go.
Striding in, David Wright. And there's a look at his home and road splits so far this year. Here's the 1 1. And that one stayed too low, apparently. His lifetime line against Velasquez. Two hits in seven tries. He takes a fastball on the inside corner. With two strikes now and a runner at first, do you go for the strikeout or are you still looking for the double play ball? Well, Matt, I think a lot of that depends on the type of pitcher that you are. If you're a power pitcher, you can go ahead and ride a fastball up in the zone, but if you're a guy that... Meanwhile, this ball gets down. It's a base hit. And the runner scores from third as they extend their lead. That's never where you want that changeup to be. Up in the zone, he hangs it. You still got away with it because it's still in the ballpark. That ball is one he hits to the moon, usually. Into the box now, Neil Walker called strike two. These guys hitting aren't in first place by accident. They excel at getting out to early lead, so this is a big moment in this game. If they're able to lengthen this lead any more in this inning, they're going to be in really good shape to come away with a win today. To third, there is Franco. But the feed to the second baseman is a wide one. And he'll come in to score from second base. And that is a direct result, obviously, of that poor, poor throw. And this will go down as an E5, as you can see the exasperation on his face. Digging in, Travis Darno, And he's hoping to get things going at the plate. It's been a bit of a struggle for him in recent games. Three runs already home here. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him, and watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. Three across so far in the inning, and another two out there on base. Yeah, Matt, and this inning's really starting to get away from them on the defensive side of the ball. Stranding the rest of those guys out here feels absolutely essential for them at this point. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Now a flare out toward right center. Here comes Saunders. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. So they pick up three runs on only two hits in the inning, one error in the inning, and a couple of men left. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. The Mets lead it three to nothing. Noah Syndergaard, a right-hander from the state of Texas, is the man on the mound here. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Well, he's going to be fun to watch. He almost always is. He's proven to be one of the more dominant arms in all of baseball. And you can bet this opposing lineup is not too excited about having to face him. More often than not, he shuts teams down. So that's kind of what I expect from him in this one. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Oh, that's for sure going to be a pitch he wants back. You're not going to get many balls right in the wheelhouse from a top-level arm like this. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. A moment now to check out the hometown Phil's starting lineup. Harold, what's the key for him against one of the best starters in the game? Well, you're already down three. You can't worry about that. Still play with your game. You got a lot of baseball left. Get maybe one inning. Chip away. Try to get at their pitcher and get your team right back in the game. Settling in now, Michael Franco. And you can see he really enjoys hitting here at Citizens Bank Park, which is not a shocker. It's a good place to be a hitter. Into the windup. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw gets him, two down. Batting third, center fielder. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. Career numbers versus Syndergaard. He's got two hits in 18 at-bats. He's also gone down on strikes five times. 
inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight. Despite the loss last time out, they'd won four in a row, so they'd been on a nice little roll here. Yeah, Matt. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Phillies down in order. They trail in this one, three nothing. Digging in, Noah Syndergaard. He'll lead it off against Vince Velasquez. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A cold strike on the inside corner. Frozen with a high fastball there. We'll see if they try to climb the ladder even more on the next pitch. Hit on the ground to third. Bronco fields it cleanly. Throw to first will be in time, and there's one gone here to start the second. All right, here's how the Phillies line up defensively brought to you by Majestic. They are in the top five and the most errors committed by a team. So it's not just one player that's kicking the ball, but it's been routinely as a team. When you're giving up that many errors and make that many mistakes, you're not going to win many ball games. Digging in for his second at bat, Curtis Granderson. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. Looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. Granderson waits on the one two. Now a fastball but that's easy to lay off and it's back to even a two and two. Two and two count here it comes. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line and that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. He'll get it into second. And he will beat the throw into second as he slides in safely with a one-out double. That ball's right in his wheelhouse. Man, pitcher got lucky. He hit a screaming line drive. Had he lifted it, he'd be jogging right now for four. Stepping in now as Drupal Cabrera. Change up, call to strike, and he comes back even at two and two. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with a changeup here. Little dribbler down the line. That's a foul ball. The two two one more time. Hit hard on the ground towards second. On to first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. Ready for another chance? Michael Conforto. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Ready with the 1 and 1. Favorable call in there for a strike. That's pretty good break right there, breaking all the way across the zone. That's a little dangerous. He gets to see that ball a long time. But, man, that's a nasty snap dragon hook right there. 1-2 two is an off-speed pitch. No dice. It's 2-2. Two and two. You can really tell about how effective this guy's going to be when guys are swinging at that changeup. So far in this one, they've been real smart to let it go. Trying to send him packing for the second time. He pulls this one into right. Coming on is Sanders, but he won't get there. It's a base hit. And the runner from third crosses the plate. That makes it a 4-0 ball game. Two well, out, two strikes, 52. down to the last strike of the You're inning, right. and he's able to That's hang in there and drive the ball for a base hit. Good job of battling right there. Into the box, Joannis Cespedes, as he hits one on a line to left field. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. Oh, what an effort. Line drive over the third baseman's head, but did you see how high he got the off the ground? Baseman, what an five. effort to try to grab Davis, that ball. Right. Standing in now, David Wright. He offers at it and hits it in the air to left. And Kendrick will make the play to retire the side. Mets forced to settle for one here in the inning. 
On now to the bottom of the second, it's the Mets four and the Phillies nothing. So striding in, Tommy Joseph. And what a season he's having. Entering play, leading the league in two of the three triple crown categories. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Late that time for a strike. This is an interesting matchup, Matt. These are two of the best players in the league. You got a possible MVP candidate in the hitter and a possible Cy Young Award winner in the pitcher. What a matchup. The 3 2 one more time. Hit down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. In this day and age with analytics and the shift applied all over the field, this team is old school. They may be a dinosaur. They don't shift as much as everybody else. They play that stationed standard baseball. Here's Michael Saunders now. It was a two hit effort for him including a home run in last night's game. Hey. Taking all the way that time it's three and one. That fastball was a lively one. You could hear the pop of the glove all the way up here. Yeah nothing better huh guys. I guess maybe the crack of the bat but I'm not as partial to that as most people. He looks good and loose out there to start this one. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. When it left his bat I thought it might score foul but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second but he cruised in there with relative ease. Here's Howie Kendrick and you can see his home road splits there. He has not fared very well in front of the home crowd oddly enough. One out and a runner on second base. This one's down to third. Gloved by right. Throw on to first and Kendrick is gone. Two away now. Striding into the box. Andres Blanco. The average for him entering play sits down in the 250s. From the belt. Kicks and deals. But there to take it is Cabrera, and with that, the side is retired. Philly strand one. They're on the short end of a 4 nothing score. Here's Neil Walker. 0 for 1 here in the early going. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. A changeup that just catches the bottom of the zone for a strike. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Here it comes. Line but speared on a hop. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And with one away, we check out where these guys sit in the current division standings, and it's not all that pretty as they face a sizable deficit at this point in the season. Here's the catcher, Travis Darno. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One out, nobody on. Ball two. Strike. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Line towards center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. You can relate, Dan. So what's going through the pitcher's mind right now? And they've had some good at-bats against him all game long. It, it seems like it's just been hard hit after hard hit. As we take a look at his line here, the numbers do not lie. This has not been one of his better outings, and he'd be the first to tell you that. Digging in to try it again, T.J. Rivera. So far, 0 for 1 with a fly out. And a good comeback there. It's 3 and 1. Now some action in the Phillies bullpen as a right hander begins to crank it up out there. 
Here it is on three and one. A curveball that catches the inside corner. I think it's a real possibility that they put that run on first in motion. That would help them stay out of that double play that would end the inning, but that's also kind of risky at the same time. Here comes the payoff pitch. Pitch strike three called the throw. Short hop, but he's out. Great play to pick the throw and slap the tag on him to end the inning. One hits all they get. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. Mets out in front, four to nothing. Into the box, Cameron Rupp. And he's just hoping for something to go his way in this one. And as you can see, it's not been the case of late. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. There's a knee-high pitch that catches the zone. And here's a ball lifted back toward the stands in right, so we'll try it again at one and two. One and two, here it comes. And another foul ball. Here's another one, two. Got him swinging in the dirt. And he makes the throw to first. Rupp is retired, and there's one away. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see, he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Digging in the switch hitter, Vince Velasquez. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Fouled straight back. Bases are empty, one man out. And he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. Again, a one two. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Boy, that's a tough pitch to lay off, even if you know it's coming. Look, two strike slider on the back foot. That's a classic pitch, but he did a nice job of laying off it. Now another 2-2. Two, two. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad bat will continue. Once again, a 3-2. And this is fouled at the plate. And now this will be the 10th pitch of the at bat. On pitch number 10 is the one that finally does it as he strikes out after a long battle here. So back to back strikeouts for him here to start the inning. And as we check out the rankings on this Mets ball club you can see there he's currently leading the team in that department. Striding in once again Cesar Hernandez first two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out so we'll see if he can fare any better. And he gives this a pretty good ride that time, but that's going to be up amongst the crowd of foul ball. Ready on one and two. Grounded to short. Taken there by Cabrera. And a close play at first, but he's called out and the side is retired. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They're down four nothing. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Noah Sindergaard comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Chasing after it is Herrera. He's there and records the first down. Center fielder number three. Digging in and looking for more. Curtis Granderson. He came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. Granderson waits on the one two and that is swung on and missed he's down on strikes and the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. I think that curveball is a big reason why he's able to turn things around in this start after a rough beginning. It's got some good bite to it so that tells me he's doing a nice job of snapping it off out front really finishing that pitch like you're supposed to in now as dribble Cabrera. Checked his swing there, and did he go? 
No, he did not, says the third base umpire. So it's ball four. Now batting. Digging in Mike once Hilton. again, Michael, Michael Conforto. Conforto. A hit in two tries so far. Four runs, six hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. Called strike two, and now it's full three and two. All right, three two count with two outs. The runner on first will be moving, so we'll see what happens. There are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Line toward right center. That gets down, and the inning continues. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Three two count two outs. Everybody knows the runner's going put the ball in play and he did. Now you're sitting first and third with an opportunity to drive that run in. Here comes the Philly skipper on his way out toward the mound and he's going to motion for his bullpen here. That'll do it for the starter tonight. So as he leaves I would imagine these fans would not be much pleased with his performance here this evening as he certainly was not sharp. Michael Marriott answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from their starter. Stepping in now Joanna Cespedes. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Kendrick going back on it. So a three run blast is straight away left number 26 for him on the season as this lead swells to seven to nothing. Yeah that was solid strategy going with the right handed reliever there looking for the right on right advantage but he took that strategy and blasted it into the outfield stands got on the bump just didn't execute the pitch he wanted. Into the box, David Wright. He swings and grounds it to short. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. So the two-out base hit on the top of the inning is still alive. Well, that's not right now to science. Batting. You fall behind 3-1 to this guy, you're Neil probably going to give up Walker. a base hit when you throw him a fastball. Into the box now. Neil Walker in for strike two. A runner on first with two away. Now a swing and a fly ball. And it's a foul ball. Well, I think he's trying to get that two strike fastball out of the zone. Just caught too much of the plate right there. Fortunately, he fouled it off instead of putting it in the seats to two balls and two strikes now. Well one thing about him he's an absolute grinder at the plate. You can pretty much count on him battling at the plate every chance he gets. And here's a curveball that's laid off that time. It's full three and two. Now on three and two as a pitcher you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Full count here. Here comes the pitch chopped weakly to the left. Throw in time and the side is retired. But the Mets strike for three, all coming courtesy of this three-run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's the Mets seven, and the Phillies nothing. Back alongside Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, Matt Vaskirchen, as Michael Franco gets set to start out the inning. And this is going to be a foul ball. Ready on one and two. Again he sends it out of play. Check swing. No swing says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Into the windup. Here comes the 2-2 two -two pitch. Good swing on a tough pitch and he'll stick around to see another one. Just staying alive putting together a really good at bat here. 
Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. Another one sent foul. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. Sharp slider that time. Just missed inside. Well, they haven't had a lot of offense in this game. Right now, though, you got three balls here. Maybe this will be the leadoff walk that gets things going for them. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. He's looked great on the bump the first few it? innings of this game, and Center I Hilder. think his ability to change speeds effectively Herrera. has been a big reason why. That was a good change of speed for the strikeout there, and I've seen a lot of hitters look pretty off with their timing so far. In now, Odubel Herrera. And he bangs it into center field for a base hit. Great execution. You hit it where it's thrown, right? That ball's thrown right at the middle. He hit First it right back up the middle. 19. A lot of hits in the middle. Army Elsa. Standing in now, Tommy Joseph. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. The one two pitch and a neck high fastball that time. That's a good take on that fastball there. You know he's looking for something up there to drive but that was just a little above his happy zone. Not everyone has the discipline to hold back on those. The relay throw and he is in there. Well this is how rallies start. You get one man on and you get the base hit. Right Look, fielder, it's still five. early. I know they're down by a lot but man this is how Under. little things add up. They need to score this inning and then from there continue to add on. Into the box Michael Saunders swing and a hot shot toward third and that is down for extra bases as this will get one home and maybe two in to score the runner from third and he's two for two as he's in there with a double the pitcher was spotting his pitches effectively until now working the edges painting the corners but he left this one right over the plate and it cost him with an RBI extra base hit right there. Into the box now, Howie Kendrick. Shot fouled over towards the coaching box. One run, four hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. Fly ball out to straightaway right field. Catch is made here in right, and here comes the runner from third. The runner from third comes across to score as they try and chip away at the deficit. Standing in, Andres Blanco. He's 0 for 1 thus far. A man on third with two down. Pulled toward right center field. Granderson on the move. And that's the third out. Some more of the colorful characters here at the ballpark tonight. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Ready for another shot now. Travis Darno. He's one for two in the ball game. Action in the bullpen now as a right hander begins to throw out there. Here it comes on one and one. Takes a good curveball at the knees. Oh, that was a curveball looking right there. I tell you what, that was a nice curve. Just really frozen. Good breaking ball. Curveball just about rung him up, but it's to two and two. Well, that's what you want from your curveball on one and two. You start it in the zone and let it break out of the zone where it can't be punished. Didn't get him to go after it, but the execution was nice. Ready to deliver the full count pitch. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. Another full count pitch home. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. And this is called a foul ball. Maybe by a matter of inches that time. And now we're going to get a stoppage here as the four umpires will gather together near third base to discuss whether or not that was really a foul ball. And remember now, if there's any uncertainty, the umpires can go inside to get a look at the video feed from headquarters in New York. And I believe that's exactly what they're going to do. We'll give you a look at this from our own cameras and let you make the call for yourself. Okay, the umpires have emerged from the dugout with the ruling. 
And it is going to remain a foul ball. So they had it right the first time. But if there's any doubt, go inside and get this thing right. Locked in a good battle. Here comes another one. Swing and a little blooper to center. Herrera moving in. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Now batting. And that brings up the catcher, T.J. Rivera. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. One out, nobody on. Fastball, not close, and he runs it to two balls and a strike. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. And he lays off again, ball three. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And a fastball misses there. Ball four. Ready once again. Noah Syndergaard. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. And a bunt attempt misses, so he's behind now one and two. Well, he sure didn't look good right there trying to put that bunt down. I'd be surprised if they give him the bunt sign again, but let's watch and see. That one misses, and I think a ballpark full of umpires disagrees. It's two and two. I wonder if that call not going his way right there has anything to do with walking the last guy. We all know umpires don't give you much on the corners if you're not throwing strikes consistently. Got him to chase out of the zone that time. Noah Syndergaard goes down for out number two in the top half. In now, Curtis Granderson. And Granderson trying to work his way aboard. He's got it to three and one now. Pretty good pitch right here to a left-handed power hitter. The one thing you want to do, keep the ball inside so he can't get those long arms out and extended really good pitchers pitch right there even though he didn't get the called strike this is what the good hitters do three one count he gets the a base hit and he continues to just add to that batting average Shut him down now. stepping in now as Dribble Cabrera mm, right down the shoot that time one and two. Wow not sure what you're looking for right there but that one was pretty much middle middle center cut tough pitch to take hit back up the middle and that'll get by into center field for a base hit and they're not going to get him he's in there at the plate. Oh ground ball up the middle that's going to score a run right there. That's a nice right job of just staying up the middle not trying to pull Michael the ball or Bonfoglio. get out in front. Just stay up the middle and it paid off. Into the box Michael Conforto and he puts it on the ground to second. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Mets play to run on a couple of hits. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Mets are out on top, 8-2. to two. In now, Cameron Rupp. He'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. And that slider's almost in the dirt. Wow, that's a tough pitch to lay off right there. You're down 0-2. You're in protect mode. You want to chase that ball. Nice layup. And a good take there. Close, but it's 2-2. Two and two. And a fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. I really liked it. He gave up nibbling out of the zone trying to get him to chase. That wasn't working, so he just reached back and fired a good old country hardball fastball right by him. No better feeling in the world when you're a pitcher you're than throwing a fastball place. right by a guy. Chris Coughlin will get Number the call six. here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Line drive to left. 
And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So a base hit from the pinch hitter will send them back to the top of the order with one away in the inning. And he'll reach second now with one away. Everyone knows that this guy's numbers are not where he wants them to be so far this year. But you never know by that swing. He looked fluid and confident driving that pitch for a double. We'll see if that gets him going a bit. Now at the plate, Cesar Hernandez. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Here's the one and one pitch. Swing and a ball sliced foul into the seats down the left field line. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Hard ground ball to third. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag, and he'll reach it first. Third baseman, number seven. At the plate, Mike Franco. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. And a tough take on an inside sinker that just missed for ball three. He's really been good this game. Around the plate, throwing strikes, hasn't walked anybody. Right now he finds himself a little bit of a hole, but he can battle back. He's set. Here's the three and two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Another payoff pitch. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at bat is also fouled away. So the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. And that misses for ball four. That's a big no no. He obviously had to work carefully with two men on, but he did not want to walk him to load the bases. Now he's really got his work cut out for him. We'll see how he fares here. One and one, here it is. Late swing and a ball line fouled into the seats past the third base dugout. The one and two pitch. And this one's tapped foul at home plate. Ready on one and two. And oh, look out as that pitch ran in and got him. And that's going to force in a run. This is a perfect example of why the slider is such a great pitch and such a dangerous pitch, too. Sometimes it moves so much that you just lose control of it. This one runs way too far in, and the hitter is standing on first as a result. And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. He's got an opportunity here in a bases loaded situation and seems like the right man for the job. I'd say so. He's the team leader in RBIs. Time for the right man in the right spot. And it looks now like a right hander's begun to get loose in the Mets bullpen. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. That changeup for the second strike right there is a great sign. When you're struggling like he has early in this game, you got to get in a rhythm. A changeup, off speed pitch. One run is scored. Two runs scored. It's cut off. So all three runners are in to score. Some guys just rise to the occasion when the lights are the brightest, right, and he's definitely five, in that category. He's Michael been a clutch hitter all year, Thunder. and here's another in a long line of clutch ABs. Yeah, and that adds three more ribbies to his already impressive total. Standing in now, Michael Saunders. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Here's the one and two. Now a swing, and he pops him up right up the chute. This may be tough behind the plate. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. Now, batting. now with the plate, Howie there. Kendrick. Howie. He hit a sack fly earlier. Right. From the belt. Kicks and deals. That's in there. Three and one. It'll be interesting if he comes in the zone aggressively again here. With the base open, he doesn't have to. Called strike, and that'll run it full. What, two beautiful pitches. I, I don't know. Two fastballs inside. Do you stay in, or do you go back outside? He's got him set up for anything right now. To short, right to Cabrera. Throw on to first. We'll finally retire him as the inning will draw to a close. So they nearly bat around here as eight men come to the plate, and they push across four runs. Five innings complete. The Mets lead it 8-6. to six. Hector Neris takes over to start now the sixth inning the on the mound. Number 50, Hector Neris. Here's Juana Cespedes. 
It's been a nice game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point. Ready with the one and two. And that one stayed too low, apparently. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The third baseman, number five. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. Two hits and three at-bats for him in this one. He's set, and the 2-1 pitch. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind 3-1. Set. Here's the 3 1. Oh, and this one is hit a ton out to center. Racing back the center fielder. He leaps, but he can't get it. It's down for extra bases. And right running hard around second. He's heading for third. And he's out at third. Might have gotten a little greedy that time. Oh, you hate to see guys run into outs, especially when it's because of an unnecessary risk. He had two all the way, and he clearly should have just been happy with that. In now, Neil Walker looks at a slider over the outer half for strike two. He's set, and the one-two pitch. Now a splitter that time that had a bit too much to it as it just about got him. Pitch on the way. Got him swinging as he runs the fastball by him to end the inning. Mets go down one, two, three. The lead stands pat at eight to six. Ready once again, Andres Blanco. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. comes Met skipper Terry Collins out to home plate and it looks like we'll see a double switch here. Hansel Robles plate. is in out of the These bullpen now as he'll Mets. be inserted into the now number six spot the following spot. the double switch. Number Wilmer Flores is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the now pitcher's playing. spot Second hitting ninth now on the double switch. Number four Wilmer Flores. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. That's the perfect pitch after you've just brushed a guy back. The hitter probably isn't sitting up there thinking you're going to flip something soft up there. And in a two-run game right here, you really don't want to walk the leadoff guy to start an inning. You've got to keep that tying run in the on-deck circle as long as you can. And he's retired here, one away. Cameron. Stepping Ruff. in and ready for another shot, Cameron Ruff. He's hoping to avoid the hat trick. He struck out in each of his first two plate appearances so far. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Into the windup, here comes the 2 2 pitch. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Hot shot on the ground is short. Throw won't be in time as he reaches it first. Hold on here though. You can see the skipper heading out of the dugout now, so that very close safe call might be challenged. Yeah, I wasn't so sure about him being safe either, but here's another shot of it right here. Not easy to tell for sure from that shot. Gonna be interesting to see what they want to do with this one. So here's the signal from the bench and they will indeed ask for the play to be reviewed. So the umpires will get on the horn with the replay operations center in Manhattan and attempt to get a definitive Ladies answer on this play. The Mets have decided to challenge. Okay we're going to get one play. more look at it right here. Is there enough video evidence to overturn this call. You know I think there is. 
the shot right there makes it look like the ball beat him to first. Looks like a well used challenge. OK so it looks like the umpires are wrapping up their decision and off comes the headset and he's out. So the original the call is overturned review. and instead of the having a base runner at first, first base. the bases will now be empty. Brian Holiday will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Ryan slider clock in the mid 80s there. It's a ball and two strikes. That pitch looked like it could have been a little high, but he's been calling that pitch all night. Kind of rough for a pinch hitter, but I'm sure his teammates let him know that's where the zone has been. And safe, says the first base umpire, as the throw was too late. Well, there's an infield single with two outs. You know, never too late to get a rally started. I love the hustle right there to get things going. Ready for another shot now. Cesar Hernandez. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The set and the 1 1 pitch. And that one stayed up a little high. Matt, I just think he's pitching scared. Look, he's getting hit a little bit, and now he's falling behind another hitter. Challenge somebody. And this pitch is hit foul off to the left and out of play. So the count goes to two and two now. Hit to first. Rivera brings it in. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. One left for Philadelphia. Can't cut into that eight to six deficit. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. It's been a high scoring affair thus far as we take a look at the game summary through the first six innings of play. Jen Mark Gomez is on the pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Here's the catcher Travis Darno. Career numbers against Jen Mark Gomez. One for four. Fastball called strike one and two. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. The one two offering looked like a slider that time but it's two and two. All even at two and two. Here it is. Popped up. And this is taken in for out number one. Digging in once again, T.J. Rivera, 0 for 2 with a walk for him so far. Into the windup, here's the 2 and 1 pitch. Takes a look down at the knees for a strike. Good pitch right there from the reliever. Tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Swing and a liner. On to first, and there are two down. The batter, number four. Now with the baseman. plate, Wilmer Flores. Wilmer Flores. He's Flores. newly entered into the ballgame, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Aye. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Two out, nobody on. Hit on the ground to third. Oh, look at Franco. He goes to first and give it up on a phenomenal play to retire the side. They call it the high corner for a reason. And this is a beauty to take us to break. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Ready for another chance? Michael Franco, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Now a ball hit pretty well to left but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Payoff pitch one more time. Drill down the line. And a reach to his backhand but he can't come up with it and the leadoff man's aboard. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. That's what you call a clutch piece of hitting. Now Down two it. runs. He puts himself Better in scoring field. position oh, and Google. brings the tying run to the plate. We'll see what they do with the base open here. This one's getting interesting.
A runner at second, nobody out. Stepping in now, Odubel Herrera. He swings and sends it on a line to right center. That gets down, he's got himself a base hit. Well, we've always known this guy was a good hitter. You knew he was going to come out of it eventually. There's another multi-hit game. It's not one hit that gets you out of it, but the multi-hit game. Maybe this is the signs of things to come. And that'll bring in Tommy Joseph. Two for three with a double on his line so far. One and one count. Here's the pitch. Oh, and there's a drive to deep left center. You can pretty much forget about this one. This is way out of here. So a three-run shot to left center, number 31 for him on the season. And they've taken a one-run lead. about how an inning can get away from you, right? Three-run homer already in this inning. They've yet to give up an out, and this could turn out to be one of those really ugly innings. Into the box now, Michael Saunders. In there, two and two. Two and two count, here it comes. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Get hard up the middle. That gets through for a base hit. He's now three for four in this one. Well, he came to play this game. That base hit right there hit really hard. That makes him three for four on the day. What a day for him. Into the box, Howie Kendrick. And he'll just make him throw one over here. Three and one. Three and one, here it is. Down the third baseline. Throw by right is in time for out number one. Riding in once again, Andres Blanco. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. A.J. Ramos. Takes the call now from the pen the as he'll try to get the final Number two outs four. of this seventh Eight frame. Rumble. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. Here's the one and two delivery. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. One and two, here it comes. Hard on the ground towards short. Cabrera's up with it. Throw gets him, two down. Digging in to try it again. Cameron Ruff. It's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys were looking for him to change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. But the Phillies use the long ball here, and they get three on this three-run home run. Seven complete here tonight. It's the Phillies nine and the Mets eight. Now we're going to have a conference at the home plate area, so it would appear that we'll see a double switch here. Your Joaquin Benoit will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the now lineup following the double switch. Number Freddie Galvis will also Joaquin come on now Benoit. as he'll move into the pitcher's now number nine hold in the order the here on that double switch. Leading Galvis. off the inning, Chris Granderson as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. The 2-1 now to Granderson. 
He's fallen behind now, three and one. Down by a run, your guy needs to get on any way he can. His mentality has to be to shrink the strike zone to like the size of a soup can. No reason to swing at a pitcher's pitch. Called a strike and it's full three and two. This one's flared toward left center. Kendrick is after it. He makes the catch. A great effort to get there and record the first out of the inning. Well, this has been a bullpen game for some time now, but let's go back and review the performances of the two starters, neither of whom turned in an outing to remember. Digging in and looking for more as Dribble Cabrera, one for two on his line so far in the game. Bases are empty, one man out. Hot shot down the line. On to first, and Cabrera's a ground out victim. Two away. The right fielder, number 30. Michael Stepping into the box, Conforto. Michael Conforto. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. A changeup right on the outside corner for a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. And a fastball swung on and hit to second. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. Still down a run. It's a 9-8 ball game. Digging in the switch hitter, Freddie Galvis. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. Hit on the ground toward the left. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So the Phillies get a man on to start out the inning. Digging in, Cesar Hernandez. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Nobody out, runner on first. Chop foul over towards the dugout. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Oh, he might have got away with one. Two strike breaking ball to end up being in the zone. I think he probably won that out of the zone, but fortunately, he just fouled it off. Seems like he's throwing everything at him, the kitchen sink, and he just fouled him off. So he tried to throw something right there and make him chase, and he didn't. So I don't know where he goes from here. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard Third now. Baseman number seven, Michael Franco. In now, Michael Franco. He swings and grounds it to short. A step on the bag for one. On to first to complete the double play. Good pitch on the ground ball there. And an even better job up the middle to take it himself and turn two. Pretty smooth. Here's the center fielder, Odubel Herrera. He's looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. Two outs here with a runner at third. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. He's putting on a little bit of a pitching clinic now. Look, he gives up a single and a single. Then he got the double play ball, and now he's got two strikes. If he can wiggle out of this, leaving a man stranded on base, that's a really good inning. Now an off-speed pitch that nearly ran in and got him. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Hit well on the ground to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Philly strand one. They lead it 9-8. Back in the city of brotherly love with Major League Baseball on the show. Pat Nisha takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Nisha. Fielder Ioannis Cespedes. It's been a nice game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point.
little bouncer, but that one rolls foul. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And he lays off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Yeah, well, when a guy's swinging the bat as well as he's been, this is a smart move. No reason to tempt fate out there. Digging in, David Wright. His career numbers against Pat Neshek. Hitless in three at-bats. Crowd gets up for the 3 2. Down the first baseline. And a heck of an effort over there at first, but it'll be for naught as this is a foul ball. The next 3 2. Runners on the move for second. Taken for strike three. The throw. Ball's there, and he is out. Good throw. The pitcher number 43. Jose Reyes will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Number seven, Jose Reyes. And this will be a called strike two. And trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Turned on down the line. Joseph brings it in. And a step on first for the out, and the ball game is over. Wow, we definitely got our money's worth in that one. They were down huge, but hey, give them a lot of credit. They scraped and clawed and eventually got the win. No lead is ever safe in baseball, folks. A close one, 9-8 to eight at the end of the game in this one. Jenmar Gomez earns the victory in relief in this one, his seventh of the year. Pat Neshek hammers down the save, his 20th of the season. So that's a wrap here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click on over to theshownation.com. Scored tonight, first for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies. Nine runs on 13 hits. The 2 0. Each row to right and deep. Back goes Para to the wall, and it's off the wall. 3,000 is in right field, and each row is racing for third. And he's done it. He's climbed the mountain. A triple. And he has arrived at 3,000.